try to do this. Hey guys, this is Grant with Vigilance Personal Protection. I'm here today with Alea to talk about the ICE modular belly band system made by Crossbreed. Crossbreed's a company from Springfield, Missouri. They have been making holsters for a long time. They're kind of the pioneers of the hybrid holster. If you know anything about Crossbreed, you're aware that they make holsters for a lot of different guns. Matter of fact, if you have a gun made by a reputable manufacturer, I'm just about guaranteed they make a holster for it. And that includes with the lights, light bearing equipment, lasers, raised sights, things of that nature. They're a very cool company. The way that these belly bands work is there's a band made out of elastic material and it's got several uh, panels of loop velcro on it and then they have a modular hybrid holster that has a kydex shell and leather backing just like you're used to seeing in any other hybrid system and then on the leather backing there's a velcro loops excuse me hooks this is a really well done kydex shell that has good retention and all you do is you just press that kydex shell down onto the velcro panel and then there's a piece of secondary material that goes over the top that pulls it in tight this is a really cool system that was a really good idea because most of the belly bands on the market are just inadequate they don't have good retention we'll get to that here in a minute now the band itself also has pockets so you can hold documents um, wallet things of that nature and it's sealed in by a little velcro area there and then you can see the pocket on this side for maybe a spare magazine or a flashlight or pens or something like that Crossbreed also makes more modular shells for things like flashlight pouches, spare magazine carriers. Uh, I think they even make one for handcuffs. Uh, they also have this system integrated with what they call the bedside backup, which you can see here. And this goes in between your mattress and your bed frame. It's a neat idea because you can, without removing the gun from the holster, take the holster right off your belly band and slap it onto the bedside backup and have access to your firearm right there from your bed. Uh, also, it is important to keep in mind if you're gonna do something like this and you might have children running around the house, you might have to consider how to do that safely if that's the right choice for you. So. Belly bands are a really good idea because they carry a really deeply concealed uh, and it opens up more wardrobe options for you. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to wear basketball shorts or other kinds of pants without belt loops, I'd be able to do that, uh, but it's particularly helpful for women to be able to conceal in different kind of clothing and stuff like that. As a woman, it's opened up many more fashionable options, such as pants without loops, loungewear, skirts, and yoga pants. It's also allowed me to wear flowy sundresses without adding uncomfortable shorts underneath. Uh, unlike other products that typically target women with lace and color choices, such as hot pink and Tiffany blue, uh, this system is designed to be practical and safe. Uh, as a woman who carries every day, I really appreciate the practicality of the ICE belly band. So most belly bands on the market are going to be something like this. It's an elastic material, just like the crossbreed. However, instead of a hard shell, uh, it's going to be more of that elastic material that makes the actual holster. So there's no retention whatsoever. It's kind of difficult to get the gun in and out of. As you can see, I really can hardly even do it here. Uh, it doesn't protect the trigger as well as a hard material like Kydex. There's, there's almost no retention. This thing is pressing on it almost to squirt it right out. And then uh, because the back isn't made of a stiff material like leather, when you bend over or change the shape of your body, the stuff like this just tends to get pointed right back in at you. It's just the, the band is actually, the belly band is actually going to shift so that the gun is pointing right in at you. And that's just a really unsafe 
way to carry a gun, even though it is a little bit more convenient. And I know that there's a lot of be belly bands like that out there available for 15 to $25 on Amazon or whatever the case is. I would definitely spend the extra money and go for the crossbreed. Which brings me to their price points. The belly band with the holster system complete is $70. If you wanted to add something like a magazine carrier, it's $35. And then the shells themselves, which is another great thing about this being modular, is that if you had multiple handguns you wanted to carry in your belly band, you can buy additional shells, and they're, they're $40 for the, the hybrid shells. They're available in sizes from 28 inches up to 54 inches. And uh, it's like I said, you can get magazine carriers, flashlight carriers, there's all sorts of different options available on their website. So we've had our belly bands for over a year. Alea uses her belly band to carry a Glock 43, and I carry my Glock 26 in mine, and occasionally I'll carry the PPQ, but mostly that just stays on the bedside back up here. One of the things that's really beneficial about this belly band system is that you can adjust the ride height or the cant simply by how you put the shell onto the velcro panel on the belly band so that's really clever and advantageous so i've been really happy with mine uh, it's really filled a niche in that it's the only way i can carry in things like gym shorts when i go to the gym or uh, when I were to go on a bike ride. You know, I might not wear it under any other circumstances. So whether or not that's right for you is something that you'll have to take into account. So they're, they're really nice holsters, uh, but with a few caveats. One issue that I have when the gun is drawn from the holster, sometimes the extra material that wraps around the holster will kind of cover up the top of the shell in such a way so that when the gun, when I go to reholster the gun, it kind of pinches that material back in there and it, it can be kind of difficult to reholster. One of the other issues that I've noticed is that uh, after drawing and moving around a little bit, sometimes the shell can actually shift around on, on me sometimes and I have to use my thumb or something like that to kind of check where the holster is before I go back to it. So that can be kind of frustrating, uh, but that being said, uh, I would not be able to carry any other way. So having those issues is a, a good trade-off for being able to carry in basketball shorts. Uh, do you have any issues with yours, Alea? As a small framed woman, I found that with some movement, the band does sometimes ride up and over my hips which can cause some discomfort and awkwardness as I try to reposition the band. I've also noticed after a long day of wearing it, it can sometimes pinch, but it's usually negligible. Now, as far as durability is concerned, uh, after the first few months of wearing mine, I immediately noticed uh, that the stitching in the elastic just pulled out. Um, specifically where the pockets are, which I never use anyway, so it, I really wasn't too upset about it. And I understand how difficult it can be to make a stitching that's going to last in an elastic band that's just going to pull on it. So um, I also am right in between sizes. So I think I kind of pull mine too tight maybe, and that might have been a cause of that. You can also see just where the elastic has started to kind of fray. Uh, from the hook velcro rubbing against it and being being pulled and stuff like that. I think it'll probably continue to hold up for quite some time to where I can use it, uh, but it's not it's not perfect in terms of durability. Uh, that's an issue. Alea, she wears hers actually more than I wear mine and has not had any of those issues. So hers has held up really well. Stitching stitching's all still in there and everything else. Uh, and then. As far as the shell is concerned, my, at the time, six-month-old Labrador Retriever got a hold of it and chewed on it like a chew toy, and it did, like, nothing to it. You can kind of see, maybe, where some of those tooth marks are. Uh, 
and he's not known to really destroy things or tear them apart but it held up really well through that assault so <laughs> and that's why he's getting an honorable mention in our video today thanks Lasky overall I'm very impressed with these the price point is great um, the manufacturer is a good company and actually ICE Training Company is a company started by Rob Pincus who has contributed a great deal to the firearms community and gun culture. So if you don't know who Rob Pincus is or if you're not familiar with Personal Defense Network, please look them up. They make a lot of great videos that are very helpful for people like us. Um, one thing I will say, guys, is these are not a substitute for a sturdy belt. Uh, it's just not anywhere near as good a way to carry as on a sturdy belt with a hard form holster. But if you wear scrubs to work, you wear basketball shorts to the gym, to go on a bike ride, if you are, especially if you're a woman who wants to be able to wear yoga pants, dresses, skirts, things like that, this is a fantastic utilitarian solution to be able to continue to carry a gun in those different kinds of clothing. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, we appreciate you. See you next time.